stealing all of the gold cars from Hot Wheels City! Elevator going up. We've got our favorite gold cars. Nice. Mwahaha! I, Draven, will take those gold cars. Let's go for a ride. This one looks really fast. You're in for a surprise, boys. Mwahaha! Pull the lever! Mwahaha! Oh no, the shark! Tom, 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 tom! <laughs> My shark. Those gold cars are mine. Gold, my favorite color. You can't have enough gold. The last two gold cars. And now for me, Draven. Where can I put these? Where can I hide these? Good luck finding those cars, boys. <laughs> No gold cars here. What's that noise? Draven is hiding a gold car at the Super Spin dealership. Let's get that gold car back. No gold car on this level. Nothing here either.
Let's drive it back to the ultimate garage. Somewhere. The, the skate, skate park. park. Where is that gold car? Nothing here. Ah! Rad grind, dude. Nothing here either. Sick golly. Where is that gold car? Ha! There it is! I knew we'd find it. That's all of them! Nice work, bro. Draven! Draven! You stole my gold cars! You're going to pay! Oh no! Let's get out of here, bro! Come 
coming to get you, boys. No! My own shark has turned against me. No, no, no! You should never steal, Draven. Great job, boys. <laughs> Got to Draven. You know it was wrong of you to steal those gold cars, Draven. You need to make some big self-improvements. Maybe see a mechanic. <laughs> I'm free! Oh no! All six gold cars have been returned to the Ultimate Garage. Woohoo! Ultimate Garage set with two cars and other sets, cars, and track, each sold separately. Adults assemble. planning to surprise seven-year-old Caden Cernius with a dream ramp in his own backyard. With just three days, can we pull it off? You ready to try? Mm-hmm. Wow! A Hot Wheels production. Oh, yes! Yes! My name's Caden Cernius and I'm seven years old and I ride freestyle BMX. Caden Cerny has competed in eight of the nine Hot Wheels Junior Series events and pushed himself to the limit every time. Big 360 out! He wants to be the best he can be, and Hot Wheels wants to help him get there. If Caden's gonna take things to the next level, he needs to train on a half pipe, and the nearest one is four hours away. Oh, oh yes. That's why we sent Hot Wheels BMX riders to Ridgefield, Washington to give Caden the surprise of his life. Hey guys, I'm Sean Rickani. And I'm Caden Sam. Yeah! <laughs> We're here in Bristfield, Washington to surprise Caden serving us with a ramp of his dreams. Caden thinks Hot Wheels is interviewing him for the Junior Series and has no idea what's in store. I want to be the youngest kid in the world to land a tail whip. What would help you land a tail whip? Meeting like a famous BMXer and he helping me. Who is your favorite BMX rider? My favorite BMX rider is Caden Snow. Caden's right over there, and we're gonna go over there and surprise him. What would happen if you got to meet one of your favorite BMX riders right now? I would be really happy. How happy? What's up? Hey. How are you? Good. Can I get some love over here? <laughs> Do you know who that is? Caden Stone. <laughs> I'm freaking out right now. Follow the leader. Oh, yeah. See, tell him. Right there. Oh, oh it's coming. Try to keep it underneath you. Yeah. He needs to keep it under him. I feel like we had the same riding. Like when I was younger, I just feel like, I don't know, it's a mini me. I like it a lot. Lay on your back, right? Like this. He's not going to be able to do that. You're... Sure, he will. He could do it. Try to hold your bike up, like this. <coughs> so I'm gonna spin it for you. Mm -hmm. And I want you to try to catch it, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, ready? You don't have to land it today, but I want you to keep practicing and land it, all right? All right. Today is like the best day ever. We had a fun time here with you today, but tomorrow, after school, we're gonna show up and we're gonna ride a place that no one's ever rode before, okay? All right. All right, you stoked? Mm-hmm. The guys have promised to take Caden to a top secret location. What he doesn't know is that it's in his own backyard. Come on in guys, we'll show you everything Caden's got going on in here. While Caden's away at his grandma's, the guys visit his parents so they can plan the ramp. Here we go. 
I might have gave him one of these awards, actually. Dude, that yeah. was like the day of his life so far. That's a really successful six-year-old's wall right there. Before school, after school, this is his little mini world. He literally watches your guys' videos, puts this stuff together, and like he'll reenact what you guys do. That's yeah. sick. When I was growing up, I had a mini ramp in my backyard, and every young kid, it's like a dream. I think we should just go with something like this. Honestly, that's perfect. Definitely be stoked on that. Yeah, yeah. sure. Now that the guys have chosen what type of ramp to build, they work with the ramp builder to finalize the plan. So this is the spot. This is the good spot in the yard for it. It's somewhat flat, pretty big. House looks right down on it. Gonna throw a wall ride in one corner. Extension on the other side. Yeah, that roller looks pretty sick. <laughs> Looks pretty good, yeah? Yeah, I think we need to add a couple of finishing touches to it. Well done. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think of it, Sean? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah? I'm excited to ride it. Definitely. Yeah. Gotta tear this thing up. It's a mini ramp. It looks great. Yeah. It looks great. Caden's been staying at his grandma's for the past three days, so he has no idea what's in his backyard. Yes. The moment of it. Stop. Yeah, bud. You ready to shred? Mm hmm. You yeah. ready? Not only did they build a ramp, they've also invited family and friends to help surprise them. We're going to be riding a place that no one's ever rode before. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Wow! Go ahead, grab that bike. Hey, you know I built this, right? You did? I'm kidding. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're gonna come back and shred with you pretty soon. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna see if you land that toe whip. Sounds like you got some homework, dude. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> Snap, snap. Whoa. 
What is an alligator doing at the super clean car wash? Uh, playing hide and seek. Whatever the reason, she's lost and scared. We need to help that gator get back to the wild. With these construction vehicles, we have the perfect tools for the job. Okay, here's the plan. We use the bulldozer to block the exit. Vroom! And put the attenuator at the entrance with its back gate lowered. Vroom! Then I'll lure her out. With what? The sandwiches in the mini mark looked pretty good. Let's go. Beep, beep, beep. I sure hope she likes bologna and cheese. Whoa. Here she comes. Snap, 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 snap. Quick! Close the gate! Yes! Let's get this gal back to the swamps. We have to get this gear far enough away that she doesn't wander back to the city. She is not a happy camper, Mason G. This should be far enough. Back up to the swamp and I'll open the tailgate. That truck really needs washing. Let's get back to the super clean car wash. Are we sure there aren't more gators? Yeah. Why don't you go first? All right, stand back, everyone. This mud has got to go. Now that's refreshing and alligator free. Who's next? Oh, me. Let me just grab these snacks and... Oh, and please make sure to buff out the bite marks. <laughs>
got some really exciting news. I just got a new puppy, and his name is Turbo. I love playing outside with Turbo, and he's an absolute master at fetch. So I want to see if I can come up with a way to make our games even more challenging and epic. Here's the plan. I need to build a track that sends my car into Turbo's tennis ball so that the ball goes flying. Once my car takes off, it will have kinetic energy, energy that comes from motion. The car needs to have enough kinetic energy so that when it collides with the ball, it transfers some of that energy to make the ball move. This just means I want my car to be moving really fast. First, we got a mega corkscrew, then two loops, then not one, but two boosters to really give the car some extra energy. Finally, I'll add the perfect launcher to send the car on its way. And it's time to give it a try. Let's see if I can get this ball to go farther than ever before. Loop, loop, boost, boost. Oh, aww. It's a good start, but that ball did not go far enough to challenge Turbo. Let's see if we can do better. Let's hack this trap. What if I built a catapult to launch the ball? Using some cardboard, a small wooden dowel, some popsicle sticks, and two rubber bands. The rubber bands create tension, or potential energy, and when the rubber bands snap back, that energy is released, pulling the arm into motion. And I can keep the rubber bands taut with a stick. Let's get it into place. I need to put the popsicle stick right at the end of the track so the car can hit it. Now, when the car knocks the stick out of place, the rubber band should pull down on the arm and Turbo's ball should fly. Let's try it out. And go. We're through the corkscrew. Loop number one, loop number two. Booster, booster, and... Oh yeah. Let's check it out again. Wow, did you see that? You really got that ball to soar. Fetch, Turbo. Now that is going to be a great game of fetch. After playing outside, Turbo deserves a treat. Let's see if I can come up with a way to make giving him a treat extra fun. Here's the plan. I want the treat to end up in Turbo's bowl, so I need a track that makes the treat move. I've got an idea. What if the treat falls into Turbo's bowl? On this playset, when my car hits this spot right here, the arm under the platform drops, so the platform on top will tilt. If I position the treat just right, the angle will be extreme enough that the treat slides off the end and into Turbo's bowl. I'm going to use this gas canister and build a track that leads to the bottom of the platform. Let's try it out. Well, that didn't work. The car's velocity wasn't enough to keep it going up the incline. But what if I insert a loop at the perfect spot, providing the car with more force? Okay, it looks pretty good to me. The treat is still in place, so why don't we give it another try? Ready, and go. Loop, loop, and oh yeah! There you go, Turbo, you deserve it. Let's see it in action one more time. So cool. Right on target. I think after all that work, I need a treat too. After Turbo and I play, there are ooey gooey slobbery toys everywhere. My mom says it's my responsibility to help clean up, and she's right. But this soccer ball is so slimy, I don't even want to touch it. <gasps> I smell a track hack. I'm going to take my track to new heights and build it along the top of our sofa. I have to use tracks that will fit on the narrow sofa cushions. So I'm going to use a bunch of straight tracks, two curved tracks to take those corners, and a flipper, just for fun. Then I'll line up these dominoes right behind the soccer ball. So when the car hits the dominoes, Turbo's toy will roll into the bin where it goes. That is one long track. Then the car will come off the end, knock into these dominoes, and roll the ball into the bin. 
Let's give it a try and see if it works. And go! Oh no! We didn't quite make it to the end of the track. We're going to need to add a booster, but for it to work on top of the squishy sofa, we need to stabilize it. I'll use another domino to create a flat surface for the track and booster to rest on. Perfect, it's looking pretty good to me. Let's try again. And go. See those dominoes fall? Let's check it out again. Yes! Cleanup accomplished in record time. Wow, we built some awesome stuff. And even when it all went wrong, did we give up? No way! We hung in there and figured out a creative way to make it all work. I had fun. Turbo definitely had fun. And I hope you did too. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll catch you on the next track hack. Come on, Turbo. Let's go play some fetch. Mason James leads his construction crew through the city after getting an urgent call from his sister. Mason James, I just received an emergency warning. There's a giant windstorm headed our way! I need all the help I can get moving this apple. Do you say apple? It's a really big apple. Hurry! Whoa! That is one big apple. It's a sculpture for the Science Museum honoring Sir Isaac Newton. Whoa! We need to get this sculpture secured on its base before the windstorm hits. The little teamwork, we'll have it up in no time. So, who was this Sir Isaac Newton guy? He discovered gravity, the natural force that makes things heavy. Well, this sure is heavy. Whoosh! Whoosh! Uh-oh, the wind is making the apple drink. Straighten up that skid steer and give us a little more power from the bulldozer. Whoa! Whoa. There's the pedestal. Everybody switch to low gear. We're gonna need all the power we can get. Once we get it up there, we need something to hold it in place while we pour the cement. Already got that covered. Let's go. Heading up to the Mega Crane. Where's that apple? 
It's just to the left off of Main Street at Fifth Avenue. I'm in the Mega Crane. Let me know exactly when the Apple gets to the construction center. Starting to figure out this gravity thing. Clear the streets, everyone! Object in motion coming at you! Got it! Now it's an object at rest. Let's get that cement mixer in here and make sure it stays an object at rest. I'm on it, sis, as easy as apple pie. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'd say that adventure was very fruitful. It was awesome to the core. <laughs> Mason, look! The apple sculpture is defying gravity! What can I say? All the action made me hungry for this yummy sculpture. <laughs> <laughs>